Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be doing an introduction to Carlos desktop as well as um, showing guys how to install it for the very first time. This will be a series based um, series where I'll be able to see all of the applications within it and how to use every application in iCarlos desktop. Okay, let's get started with the introduction. So iCarlos desktop is all is your all-in-one solution to any Amiga related need. It is a full operating system for a PC with a complete Amiga-like environment which can run on, on cheap and common hardware or into a third machine and is based on our source, a free open source rewrite of Amiga OS 3.x by a team of talented and motivated developers. iCourse de Desktop runs Amiga software compiled from the PC platform and even native American games and applications eventually integrated them onto your desktop. iCOS Desktop turns your common PC into a full, full fledged Amiga like computer, the one you always dreamed of back in the 90s with iCOS Desktop who can bring back the old fun, old fun days and enjoy a full Amiga like experience of today's processors, power and speed. And you guys can see a little bit of a preview of it. And Omega OS was a very old um, operating system that was introduced in 1980s and it was for the Commodore. So it's a very old operating system that this is um, that this developers have tried to recreate to look more modern. So as you guys can see a modern but thinly environment. There's a couple of screenshots you guys can go through um, Turn your to a needs, um, play with Amiga games, demos, and applications. So it does have an emulator in it to allow you to run Amiga older softwares and games. You guys can also. Um, iCOS Desktop is an independent operating system which can run on the hardware directly. But what to do if I don't know how to repartition a, repartition a drive? If I haven't ever used a virtual machine or just wish a quick run with a hassle or can try looters on top of a current operating system in hosted mode. iCourse desktop runs like any other application but it provides a cozy RSUN window forward delight. So we can also install it as a desktop app I do believe and um, there are some shortcomings but also an interesting opportunity we can check out the applications to open RSUN files and start the start them from iCourse I call Los Desktop as if they were I call Carlos programs. Click here for more information about host bridge. So yeah, um, I will leave this down in the description so every guys can read all of it. But over here is some screenshots of the software and I give you guys a short um, description what is it all about. Um, anyway, let's go and install it. So go to download and for one I recommend to install is iColors Desktop Live because it has all of the programs and all of the um, programming languages and all of that, every tool in it that we guys can have on iCOS, I would have recommend to install this one. Or I can install for light version, which will be um, basically will be having a lot less features, so it'll be a very basic system. Whereas this one comes with all of the special um, applications, for example, it comes with image editors, whereas this one doesn't. So download this one. To download it, click on this download button over there and it should start downloading. Um, and it should come in a zip file. Just unzip it and then it should be gate away, I say from there. But I already have it in a, th in a photo machine, so I'm just going to open up my photo box. Yeah. And now I will be able to boot up to iCarlos, iCarlos desktop. Just like so. I'm going to make this bigger screen. I'm going to close out this pop up. Now I can go and start it up. Um, okay, cool. What I'll do, I'm going to close out this pop up so you guys can see the desktop more clearly and a lot better. So, as you guys can see, this is a very old looking um, desktop. It looks quite old. It looks like, say, from the 90s. But to install it, all you guys need to do is click on this icon over there. So, like we would do it with any other operating system. Okay, so over there, with this button, is to close it. This is to, um, I do believe this one is just to put overlay of another program. Um, I'm not too quite sure. Okay, but I think this one does that so we can always reopen it so we can minimize it by clicking onto that and we can reopen it. Uh, I think that's to maximize it or something. 
Um, I'm not too sure what this button does, but to close it, we just need to click on this button, that should just close out of it. Um, I'm going to go to the machine um, view full screen mode, and I'm going to switch to full screen mode so you guys can see what desktop. So over there is all of our um, applications that we have on the um, desktop. So you can click onto my space. I think this is the actual file system. Might be able to click on that and see all the files, videos. Um, yeah, this is the file manager. Um, you guys can go to downloads videos. You guys can click on to music.info. So that's basically it because of that application. Um, you guys can click on to escape to exit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to close out of that by clicking on this box over there because what you want to do is to be able to install it. Um, so all you do is click on this icon over there and now you guys just see a program like this. To make it bigger, we just need to drag it like this. So this is how we make it bigger. Um, by going to this box over there and by dragging it. Okay, welcome to our source research OS installer. This program this program allows you to install our source on a computer's hard disk or an attached USB to, to USB device. Please be aware about that the stability of the software cannot be guaranteed. It is possible that that loss of data might occur on any drive in your system, including those used by our operating system. So this gives you a warning, um, person to proceed. Um, so from here, we guys can choose to wipe the entire disk. We'll only use free space if we don't want to do that, or we can erase the entire disk. I use an existing arson partition. I'm just going to click onto this one because I just want to wipe out the entire disk. Type, we can keep this one as being um, IDE. I personally will just go for the default. Um, so I should just wipe the entire drive. So click on to proceed. Um, Arson partitions have now been created to continue installation and must reboot Arson and rerun the installer application. So click on to proceed to reboot. And we're going to have to open up the application again. So yeah. Okay, so once you have selected to proceed and once you have your side for computer, just reopen up the application by clicking onto it. Click on to proceed. Now you have selected the use existing arson partition. Now click on to proceed, and then from here we can select all your installation um, options. So you guys should be able to install the bootloader, install development software, choose language options. You guys can install um, extra software, arson, core system, um, softwares, and all that. So you guys can install whatever you want to install of it. But I'm going to end up installing everything. So once I've selected the installation um, options just click on to proceed okay um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just keep it as default um, yeah that should be fine okay proceed um, input purposes um, that's the keyboard so now we have to select which keyboard you are using so I'll be selecting the British keyboard Click, click on to use. Now it says read the language. We are in the United Kingdom and I understand the English language. So click on to use that language and it's just starting to with the system. Um, depending on how big the system is, it could take a while. As I've selected everything in the um, in the installation options, and this may take a little bit extra for me, extra time. But if you guys only install like one to two things, um, then it will take a lot of a shorter time. So, um, okay, installing extra software. Uh, I, of course, desktop will not unpack extra software development stuff. We can perform a full installation or choose what packages to install. So, we guys can click on to select packages and just select which ones we can install.
out with you then. Congratulations, you have um, Arson installed. Reboot Arson from the detonation drive. Remove the installation media and restart the computer using the power switch, add or reset button. Start to proceed to finish. Proceed. So now if I do for right click, if I now go into iCarlos, now you guys can just select shut down and that should shut down the computer. and now it should start booting up to the system right yes it does boot up to the system um arcus desktop setup um would you like to complete it now if no if you answer no it won't be asked anymore yes okay so from here we guys can select um for appearance so you guys can go for default appearance or it can go for the classic and mega for those nerdy people, which if you're gonna install this operating system we're pretty nerdy anyway, but anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna be using the classic Omega, um, United Kingdom, um, available languages. Um, I thought we would do language, select to language. Oh, right, this is the time zone, okay. So, um, English. Okay, this is my time zone. Default character set. Um, I'm only going to cancel all of that. Okay, input type. So I'm using a um, British keyboard. Um, cool. Click on to save. Um, screen mode preferences. So from here we can change the resolution, which I think is pretty good. Um, AHI preferences. I don't know what that is. So I'm just gonna click on to the oh wait we can play test test now. Okay, it works. <laughs> um yes, I'll use that one. Okay, so pop up 3D um I control appearances. I wanna go for classic. I don't wanna go for 3D. 3D is not that bad, so you guys can select preview your house can I look from over here when I click on to the right one that is. Um but classic will look like this, right? So it looks up very old, but we guys can always go for the um, for 3D version. For pop-up, we can do pull-down. So, yeah. Um, I really do enjoy the, um, the pull-up. Now, I want to have the um, classic version. Um, what I will do now, I'm going to click onto the... Um, you guys can also click on the screen so you can do like bound drag to in left direction bound drag in right direction bound drag in top direction so you guys can enable this if at all you wanted to but i'm not completely sure what this does so i'm just going to click on to use um i cost screen settings configuration the previous is to allow you to configure system environments and i cost desktop shortcut services so you can no choice you order um I'll select this one. Um, what is this one? Aim start custom. I'm gonna have this one off. Um, start up automatic shell digital clock. That way, I do want to start up. I do want to um, for the calendar, we can show the calendar. Automatic shell would be quite useful. Now, I guess can go to networking um, and enable this. Um, aim Amy Bridge. We have a graphical user interface. We have a 68k auto shell. We have, um, I'm just gonna leave this boot sound, um, startup sound. Okay, so from here, we guys can select what the startup sound should be. So, to play this, it should play some sound. Um, some changes will need a reboot to apply. So, I'll probably will use that one. A reboot needed to apply to your choices. Okay, let's do a reboot. Hopefully, boot it up. 
um, and it seems like it's working completely fine. So if I go for to a full screen mode, as you guys can see, we have this very nice um, a Mega OS looking style operating system. So from here we can go to NDR, and you guys can go to Window. We can go to Update, Icon, Tools. Um, okay. What if um, open, pull away, delete format disk? Um, okay, that's pretty nice. I'm going to click on to for arson, and from there we can go to the um, utilities. And then from here, we guys should be able to open up any application I want. So, for example, I can open up the M player and I can start playing the M player software. And I think that should play like some from a video or um, an audio file. I'm just going to close out of it. Anyway, guys, um, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.